Well, it seems like I was a bit too brave trying this out at native 768p resolution first on the Baytrail GPU you know, so we definitely got a lower DAT resolution, and at 800x600, the FPS are actually still bad, but at least now it doesn't feel as bad as before, so let's go to the shore with the life raft. We have arrived at the shore. Now let's drag our white boy onto the shore as well. I actually feel confident enough to try to get benchmark figures, since now you can actually do something in this game at 600p with the Intel HD graphics bay trail, so let's go. So you guys saw how beautiful our island is, now let's go for a short bath in its tropical waters. Damn, I shouldn't have stepped on that thing. Never mind I think we are fine anyway, by the way look at how much detail the bottom has, even with the lowest settings this game's graphics look gorgeous, really surprising for an indie game, I really appreciate that the developers made sure that their game looks amazing even on a crappy PC. So that was a nice bath. Now let's go hunting for resources, because if we want to survive on a beautiful island like this one, you gotta gather whatever the beautiful island offers. And now I can even craft a tool. Look at that, a nice stone tool, more effective, and definitely more reliable than a cheap plastic paddle from China. Let's test our new tool by ending this small tree's whole career. Small tree's career has been ended, so the stone tool is definitely doing what it's supposed to do. But anyway, 11 FPS average at 800 by 600, and 0.1% low because of that massive stutter when opening the crafting menu. A, it could be worse, however now I want to see if it runs smoother at, oh I know, 640 by 400. So we are now at 640 by 400, very beautiful resolution, as you can see, we gained 5 to 6 FPS more, and when we look up in the sky, we can get 30 FPS. Well almost, but anyway, it's definitely smoother as you can tell, however now the graphics don't look as beautiful, like, at this resolution, it looks quite jagged actually, the lighting still looks stunning though, but yeah, it's a shame that now the game doesn't look as beautiful, but in my opinion at least, that's the recommended resolution, if you want to play stranded deep with this Intel HD graphics model in particular or something that's similarly weak, and honestly, 
16 FPS isn't bad at all, as this is a slow paced game. In fact I think you can get away with playing it even at 800 by 600 with a Psi GPU. If you really want to preserve some graphical fidelity, and you don't mind a slightly slower gameplay, but let's be honest, I don't think the people who use these Intel HD graphics care about good graphics. Also, I haven't mentioned it, but I'm actually testing the latest version of the game, so you might get better performance than this if you use a version from 2015 or something, so keep that in mind. Now let's take another bath. I declare myself the king of this rock formation, you know what, I might as well establish a kingdom on this island. It's resource gathering time part 2. And you know what came to my mind? I should craft a fireplace to keep myself even warmer, but for that we need even more wood, so let's cut down this palm tree with my stone tool. Okay, palm trees are made of stellinium in this game, so let's cut down this ficus tree instead. Let's place the fireplace right here. And yeah, 16 FPS average, as I said, not too bad for a slow paced game such as Stranded Deep. Even if it stutters a bit, I could get away with playing it like this, but out of curiosity, let's see how far can we push down the game's resolution. Oh god, it's another game that allows 200p resolution, by default, so I will have to test it like that for the laughs. Look at the text, it now looks like a bunch of squares and rectangles, I don't know, why would you want to play Stranded Deep with this wonderful resolution, I mean, don't get me wrong. The FPS boost is definitely nice. 20 plus FPS is always welcome with these specs, even if it still stutters a bit, but this now looks more like a Minecraft ripoff, rather than Stranded Deep, and most importantly, the text is now completely unreadable. Yeah, I don't want to play like this, I know that I say that graphics don't matter with this Celeron, but I really want to revert the rest back to 400p please. you that's much better so i think that's all i have to say in this video now enjoy some more gameplay at 640 by 400 p